Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you the 2021 Chevy Tahoe. This one is the LT trim and this one has no packages at all so just only the base trim LT Tahoe. So let me go ahead and show you all the features this one has. Under the hood there's going to be a 5.3 V8 that is connected to a 10 speed automatic transmission. This engine produces 355 horses and 383 pound feet of torque and the fuel economy numbers are 15 in the city, 20 on the highway, and 17 combined. Here is a MSRP sticker of this 2021 Tahoe. This one does not have any packages at all. The price with destination is going to be almost 59,000. So if you guys are curious about the color, the color is called sand steel metallic, and it does look very good on this Tahoe. And when the sun is hitting it, there is a ton of metallics in this color. I really like the way how the Tahoe looks like. It's nice and aggressive and it's very similar to the Silverado, especially the headlights. For the headlights, the high and low beam are going to be up top and they are sitting in reflectors. The turn signal indicators have a really nice look. They are LED and they're going to be a massive air curtain right here, a very big vent on the side. And I really like the way how the grill looks like. It is finished in chrome and it is finished in gloss black. Chevy bow tie is going to be finished of course in gold or yellow and in the bottom there's going to be some chrome with flat black and I believe this is the sensor for the emergency braking and all the way in the bottom this is going to be finished in flat black so the front of this towel looks really nice and uh, there's a good amount of colors flat black gloss black and chrome here is a side view of this Chevy Tahoe and definitely it does look nice from the side but with those rims, not a big fan of them. They're too small for this massive SUV. This is a full size SUV and it definitely needs bigger rims. But uh, if you need bigger rims, you could definitely uh, choose different packages and different trims to get bigger rims. For the rims, they have a very basic look to them. The size is going to be 265, 65, 18. So they are small, but they have a ton of rubber on them. They're going to be a side step and it does help a lot with getting in and out of the SUV. The window trims are going to be finished in chrome in the bottom, and the top is going to be finished in gloss black, and it does have a roof rail. Tahoe badge is going to be on the door, and overall, the side view looks good, but let's go ahead and move to the back, and I'll show you the back view of this Tahoe. Here is the back of the Tahoe, and honestly, the back of the Tahoe does look good. I really like the chrome trim. Tahoe is going to be right, right underneath that chrome trim. And for the tail lights, the tail lights have a nice design to them, but I hate the fact that for $60,000 SUV, the brake light and the turn signal indicators are halogen. The running light here in the back is going to be LED. I really like this chrome trim right here inside the tail lights. And Chevy logo is on that chrome trim. LT badge is going to be all the way to the right. And as I said, I really like this chrome trim. Tahoe is going to be ran right underneath it. And third brake light is going to be up there. And the wiper is going to be hidden right underneath that spoiler. I think that's a really nice touch. And by the way, you could open the glass or you could open the whole lift gate, which is a really nice thing to open the lift gate. There's going to be a rubber bind right here. Here is a backup camera. And they're going to be some chrome in the bottom reflectors are in the bottom and it does have rear parking sensors and the bottom portion or the lower portion of the bumper is going to be finished in flat black but let me go ahead and open this glass for you guys and show you uh, what i mean by you could open the glass here is the key of this tahoe feels nice and solid it is finished in flat black and uh, has a really nice light weight to it. it does have six binds on it lock unlock remote start it does have a panic bind and those two binds right here on the right one for the lift gate and the other one is for the glass let me show you the glass so double click on it the glass opens a little bit and then you have to do the rest of the work so let's say if you want to grab something quick you could just open the glass and grab it from the back and let's go ahead and open the lift gate there is three ways to open the lift gate there is one on the key one right there and one inside so let's go ahead and open the whole thing and there's going to be a handle up there 
and there's going to be a button on the left to close the lift gate and inside there is a ton of room they're going to be tied down right here on the right they're going to be an AC outlet in the back and another tie down on the left and of course you could drop the seats down let's go ahead and see what's underneath there's going to be a little bit of storage place underneath with the jack tools and uh, I believe the spare tire is actually located right underneath this SUV so yep it is located in the bottom and let me go ahead and drop the seats down I really wish they were automatic for almost a $60,000 SUV, but if you get the higher trims, I think the uh, high country, I think the back seats are going to be automatic. But as you can see, the floor is nice and flat, and you could put a ton of things in the back of this Tahoe. It is a full-size SUV, so this should be expected. And right there, they're going to be some cup holders one USB-C on the right and on the left same thing there is one USB-C and two cup holders so I dropped all the seats down I just want to show you how this Tahoe looks like with all the seats down and seriously guys with all the seats down there is a ton of space seriously this thing is massive here is the door handle it is finished in the same color as the SUV to lock and unlock the SUV just go ahead and click on this button here is the front door panel, and the front door panel has a nice design to it. Mostly everything is wrapped in leather, which is expected. This is wrapped in leather. I really like this smooth wood trim. It does have chrome right on top of it. This is going to be wrapped in leather. It's a little bit on the softer side. It is hard, but it does have a little bit of padding in it. The armrest is nice and soft. This is going to be nice and soft, so I'm glad that this whole thing is nice and soft. This is going to be plastic, plastic, which is fine good amount of storage place in the bottom of the door a little bit of storage place right here it does have the memory seats right here window switches and everything looks good door locks around the with door handle they're going to be some chrome and the door handle itself feels nice and solid it does have Bose sound system I think it does have nine speakers in this Tahoe I really like the design of the speaker and this chrome trim and the seats are very comfortable in this Tahoe. They don't have any design. Very simple, but very comfortable. Here are the seat controls with lumbar support. But let's go ahead and move inside this Tahoe and I'll show you how it looks like from the inside. Alright, so here is the interior of this 2021 Chevy Tahoe. It does look nice and spacious, and I really like this center console right here. I think it does look good. This 10.2 inch uh, screen looks good. I really like the bind shifter, very easy to use, and everything looks good. Here is the steering wheel. It is very good. I think the thickness and the size and the design looks very, very good. There is going to be an opening right here in the bottom, which I love does have blacked out brushed aluminum and all the way to the left you will have the uh, braking assist it does have the cruise control lines on the left and it does have the voice command phone control and there's going to be a wheel with two buttons on the left and right to control that screen in the middle so you could go left and right up and down the gauges are very easy and the font is nice and big very easy to understand does have the wiper controls on the left with the turn signal controls and on the right there is nothing since the gear shifter is going to be right here and I really like this wood trim with chrome and in the bottom they're going to be a good amount of binds and all the way to the left they're going to be the e-brake traction control does have the parking sensor this button is going to turn on the AC outlets in this Tahoe and they're going to be the drive modes right here. This is the wheel for the drive mode. You could rotate it left and right and then it will change it from normal, sport, off-road and tow hole. 
and they're going to be the four wheel drive controls four high it does have an off-road mode two high and an auto uh, function and brightness controls with the headlights right here and here is a screen it is a 10.2 inch screen i think it does look good it does have wireless apple carplay and android auto and uh, here is the backup camera backup camera resolution is very good you could turn on the lines if you want to or you could keep them off this right here will uh, basically this is for the trailer so you could you know where you're actually backing up and here is the shifter park reverse you pull out neutral you push in and drive you pull out and it does have a low gear of course you have to be in drive you click on it and it will basically put it in a lower gear and of course you have plus and minus and this shifter is very easy to use it does have some chrome around it which is nice and they're going to be more chrome right here underneath the AC vents as I said the screen looks good it is very nice and responsive you could control the climates from here and uh, overall I really like uh, Chevy and GM sh uh, system and they're going to be a small cubby right here you could put a good amount of things it's actually very nice and deep I'm not sure if you guys could see but it is nice and deep to close it there's going to be a button right here on the right just go ahead and click on it and then it will close and the emergency light button is going to be right underneath that cubby uh, that small cubby and coming down there's going to be a good amount of buttons but honestly very easy to use this top row is going to be for the volume control tune knob and a home button to go back home and seek buttons and a back button and they're going to be the climate controls right underneath climate controls are super easy to use they're going to be the fan speed in the middle with the modes around it and it does have an auto function and desync function so dual climate control very easy to use and it does have heated seats you could turn on the back of the heated seat or you could turn on the whole uh, heated seat if you want to so GM does give you the option to do whatever you want it does have one USB one USB-C and the 12 volt and this Tahoe does have wireless phone charger and two cup holders nice and big they do have some chrome around them I think that's a really nice touch and they're going to be a place for your phone the armrest is nice and soft and they're going to be two cup holders in the back and inside there is a ton of space they're going to be a removable tray and seriously I'm very impressed with the amount of uh, space in this armrest they're going to be one SD card one USB one USB C and I really like this tray and uh, basically has three different uh, places two small storage places and one massive one in the middle and up top they're going to be the rear view mirror of course I really wish it was frameless it doesn't look that bad and they're going to be the OnStar SOS it does have some LED lights which is expected of course and it does have garage controls a button to open the tailgate so the tailgate button is going to be located up here and here is the visor it is a little bit on the thinner side it's hard I really wish it was soft but it does have a mirror and it does have some lights on the sides here is the back door and the back door is the same design as the front this top portion right here is going to be wrapped in leather I really like the gray stitching it does have more of that wood trim in the back this is nice and padded the armrest is nice and soft even this is nice and soft just like the front going to be of course the window switch right here it does have door locks in the back the door handle feels nice and solid just like the front this is going to be plastic plastic which is completely fine good amount of storage place for the back door a little bit of storage place right here it does have the Bose sound system and it does have the same design as the front and the back seats are nice and spacious headroom is very good this is a full-size SUV and it does have an armrest right here in the back two cup holders this is nice and soft this is actually super soft a small storage place where you could probably put a phone right here and they're going to be two cup holders and they're going to be 
the climate controls. Uh, this Tahoe does have tri-climate control, so there are going to be some climate controls here in the back. It does have the fan speed, temperature control, auto function. You could change the modes. And it does have two USB-Cs and an AC outlet. And that's how the front of this Tahoe looks like. To be able to jump in the third row, you have to lift this twice. So lift it up once and then lift it up again. The seat will move to the front like that and you could go in the third row. But let me go ahead and jump inside and uh, show you the headroom and legroom in the third row of this Tahoe. So here I am sitting in the third row and honestly there's a good amount of legroom. Definitely the second row could move a little bit to the back to be able to give the people that are sitting in the second row a little bit more leg room, but it's actually not too bad uh, for them. There are going to be two cup holders, one USB-C, LED lights up there, some AC vents, and there are going to be more LED in the back. And I could actually recline my seats down a little bit to be able to be more comfortable. Uh, definitely the third row of the Tahoe is very nice and comfortable. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this 2021 Chevrolet Tahoe. I would like to thank Mike and Chevrolet in Milford, Connecticut for providing me this LT Tahoe. If you guys are around and if you guys are interested, make sure to come check them out. I'm going to go ahead and put the information and link in the bottom of this video. And if you guys are interested in seeing more videos like this, please subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.